All right, welcome back. In this lecture, I want to show you how to install a great text editor called Sublime Text. Now, if you already have a text editor installed that you like and that you can also use for writing your JavaScript code and jQuery code, then you can also choose to just use that editor. But even if you already do have an editor, you may also want to take a look at Sublime Text because I think it's a really good editor. There are, of course, other ones out there like Notepad++ or Atom, which you can also use. But if you want to give this a go, I'm going to guide you through the process right now. So first of all, you're going to go to sublimetext.com slash three to get version three of the Sublime Text editor. And I'm going to put this link into the lecture resources so you can just click there and you're going to be taken right to this page. Now, depending on your operating system and your computer hardware, you're going to have to use the version for Mac OS X, Windows, Windows 64 bit, which is also the correct one in my case. And I think it's going to highlight the one for you anyway by making the bullet point filled. And also if you're on Linux, you can use the Ubuntu distribution. But in my case, I'm going to download the Windows 64 bit version. So let's click save file. And then we're going to wait until the download has finished. And then we're going to start the actual installation. All right, so once the download has finished, you can start up the executable file to start the installation process. You can either do that right from your browser or by going to your downloads folder and just starting it from there. All right, so let's go ahead and click next. Then you can choose the installation directory where you want to have your Sublime Text installation. So I'm just going to go with the default value. I'm not going to add an Explorer context menu. So just click yourself through the installation process it's just going to finish in just a few seconds and then hit finish and you are ready to go. So you should now be able to find Sublime Text in your applications. So go ahead and start that now and then we're going to take a look at the user interface. All right, so here we are inside Sublime Text. If you want, you can change your style by going to Preferences, Color Scheme and then choosing whichever you like. For this course, I'm using the Lazy theme because it's a more bright theme and better to view on video. But the default is the Monokai theme, which I would also personally use if I weren't recording videos. And then you can also adjust your font and all that kind of stuff. Now you may not see all the options I have here because I have some plugins installed. And you're also going to see that it says unregistered up here because you haven't actually bought a license for the software. So it's also going to pop up with the window sometimes, but that's not too bad. And in the next lecture, you're going to go ahead and open up a folder to open up the base project for this course, where you can then work your way through the course. All right, so I hope this all worked out for you. If you're having any trouble installing Sublime Text, let me know in the discussions, and I'll try to help you with any problems you may encounter during the installation. All right, so that's already all we need for jQuery. Really simple setup. You can also use another text editor so now you're ready to get coding and that's what we're going to do. So I'll see you in the next lecture.